It's a form of expression found all over the world, but here in Brazil it started first, where capoeira is a way to promote peace through music, martial arts and dance. It's a way to ex express myself in a community. Capoeira is a dance-like form of expression that combines martial arts movements to a beating rhythm. It's a culture of non-violence. But a century ago, according to Breda, Capoeira wasn't this way. For 40 years, the form of expression was an offense, and people were jailed or killed for playing Capoeira. We had like many gangs, Capoeira gangs, that ruled Rio. They divided Rio in different zones, different sections, and they absolutely ruled the whole town. But ironically, the art form itself turned out to be the key to acceptance, especially, Breda said, in the favelas, high-risk, low-income areas of the city. It's a very strong tool for the children to have something that links them with their identity, especially the black kids in Brazil. They have a, a need of having good reference of black people. Uh, they are not shown on TV. Now, capoeira is a method many in Rio use to express themselves in many walks of life. It's an energy that helps me with life, not only for capoeira, my day-to-day -day life, my work, connecting to people. And amid the intensity of the Olympic Games, where often one lone victor stands atop a podium, capoeira reminds many of its purpose. It's not this logic of Ah, let's compete and let's see who's the best. No one loses, no one wins. Everyone needs each other in order to be able to do capoeira. Interconnecting a race through artful expression. In Rio de Janeiro, I'm Cristina Vicario, Cronkite News.